In this video, you are going to see the laptop cooler unboxing and testing. The brand is Klim, K L I M. This gadget helps to cool down the laptop by pushing out the heat while using. I use my laptop most of the time for video editing purpose and very occasional gaming. So, I'm going to test how this cooler helps for video editing. Also, this video is helpful for those who are facing a lot of heating issues in their laptops. Right now, I have a gaming laptop and these are the specs of this one that you can see on the screen. Actually, most of the gaming laptops comes with a dedicated cooling technology and let's see how this one helps. Come to the price, it fluctuates in between 2000 to 2500 rupees. So I added the best buy link of this product in the description box. But before you are going to buy this product, watch this review first. If you are interested, then only you buy the product. Come to the unboxing, a lot of stuff is given in the box. You get the device followed by some stickers, instruction manual, silicone sleeves, height cushions, a USB braided cable and some extra things. Coming to the build quality, it's totally made up of plastic. In hand, it looks like a little bit cheaper. If you give this to any person and ask them uh, to guess the price, mostly they will say it's less than 1000 rupees. Come to the weight, it was around 265 grams. Also, this one comes with 5 years of warranty. This is a great thing for this tiny gadget. Now, let's see how to connect this with your laptop. First, remove the back panel from the device and add the required silicone sleeve depend on the vent size of your laptop. If in case it's not fitting to your laptop perfectly, then add this height adjusters or cushions to increase the height so that you can attach this device easily to your laptop. After this, connect the device to your laptop with the cable which is provided in the box. Now, turn on the cooler by pressing the button. You can increase or decrease the fan suction speed with the help of this rotating knob. It can go up to a maximum and more than 4000 RPM. Also, a small LCD display is there to show the current RPM of the fan. One more button they given to the side of this, it's for controlling the light. RGB light. Alright, now you've seen how to connect this to your laptop and it's time for testing. My laptop actually comes with an inbuilt cooling system. Let's see whether this device beats that or not. I'm going to exporting a 6 minute 34 seconds 1080p edited video. Also, maximum I'm going to start this test at same temperatures of the laptop so that we can understand the differences better. The first one is without adding the cooler and not turning on the cooling system in the laptop. Right now, I'm exporting the video in Adobe Premiere Pro, which takes a lot of CPU power for rendering the video. If any graphic related elements are there in the project, it uses the graphic card also while rendering. After every successful test, we check the time it took to complete and the maximum temperature it reached. Now our first test is completed. Let's check the results. It took 14 minutes 38 seconds to complete the rendering. The maximum temperature it reached for GPU is 80 degrees Celsius, which is quite more than usual. Come to the CPU temperature, it is in between 93 to 98 degrees Celsius. During the start of this test, the graphic card temperature is 48 degrees Celsius and the CPU is at 82 degrees Celsius. Now, this is the second test where I'm going to use the cooling system which is inbuilt in the laptop, also called cooler booster. You can see the temperature of the GPU during the starting point. I'm trying my best to maintain the same temperatures for the starting phase of every test. Now again, I'm exporting the same video of the same project so that there is no confusion in the results. Let's see how much time does it take to export. Also, you can observe the CPU and GPU temperatures on the screen. Actually, during my testing, what I observed is these type of cooling gadgets for laptop is useful for those which doesn't have any fan inside. I mean a dedicated cooling system. Don't worry, at the final part of the video, I will share for which type of laptops this is used for. Now we completed our second test. These are the results. It took 12 minutes 11 seconds to complete the rendering. So definitely the cooler booster helps in any laptop to render the videos faster. You can see more than two minutes of time saving here. Come to the temperature, the CPU is in between 93 to 98 degrees Celsius, whereas the GPU maximum it touched 71 degrees Celsius, which is quite impressive. 
Also during the start of this test, the GPU temperature is 48 degrees Celsius and the CPU is at 79 degrees Celsius. Now this is the third test where I'm using only this cooling device. I'm quickly checking the initial temperature so that we can start the test. The CPU is at 78 degrees Celsius and the GPU is at 48 degrees Celsius. Also make sure that these results are just for reference. It totally depends on the type of project you are working with and the temperatures, brightness, the background running apps and many more affect the overall time if in case you are testing in your laptop. And one more thing, the main thing is also there which is the processor. Now it successfully exported the video. It took around 14 minutes and 15 seconds. Come to the temperatures, the CPU is at the same in between 93 to 98 degrees Celsius, whereas the GPU it touched maximum 80 degrees, which is quite not good at all. These are the results of these three tests. If you observe, there is no drastic difference in between with and without the cooling fan. But there is a difference if I use the default and inbuilt cooling system in my laptop. So after seeing the results, the first question arises for everyone is for which type of laptops this cooler is actually meant for. The straight and clear answer is if in case you are using any laptop that doesn't have any cooling system followed by any fans, you can use this. On the other hand, if you have a gaming laptop like me and having a dedicated cooling system then it doesn't make any differences in reducing the exporting time while video editing but the good thing is this cooling fan is not quite loud as my laptop fan so for gaming it's not a great deal but for the laptops that doesn't have any fan or cooling system yes it is very useful even you can use this for your macbooks also actually in the manual they demonstrated the pictures of macbook before ending this review here are the cons of this slim gaming laptop cooler actually they mentioned it as a gaming laptop cooler but it's not the first thing is you cannot use this device in any type of places i mean you need a flat surface to use this like table desk etc second thing after using it for some time this device is getting hotter even though it is pushing the heat away from the laptop number three if in case you are using any laptop stands you cannot use this device and finally this is not a great fit for gaming laptops that's the review of this cooler for laptop. I hope this video is really helpful for you to get an idea about this product. If you're willing to buy this product or anything from Amazon, feel free to check the affiliate link in the description box. If you click the link and purchase anything from that, I get some commission so that I can review more gadgets and products like this in the future. Thank you so much in advance and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more amazing tech reviews. See you again in the next one. Take care.